Hey guys, quick tip for today. Uh, maybe at some point you might need uh, some kind of transparent uh, objects while your character is behind some wall, for example, and you want to make that wall uh, transparent. Uh, I see some people are trying to do something uh, with it with blueprints, but I think I, 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 we can achieve the same result uh, with only materials, and I think which is going to be really interesting. Maybe you can uh, get something. So basically, if I try to uh, open, let's say this is our wall, basically it is like a camera blocking object. So I will just go for collision, I will just ignore uh, in collision presets, uh, I will go with custom and I will just ignore the camera. So for example, my camera is gonna stay there, but um, if my character is behind the wall, then uh, I will not be able to see my uh, character. So the idea is making this wall transparent to, to see my character. So let's go uh, and let's create uh, some material. Just um, name it whatever you want. I will call it Cam Ignore. And basically the first thing we need to do, uh, we need to change this blend mode to masked. You can go with translucent as well, but uh, I think the masked one is always uh, good for uh, the performance. So I will go with uh, masked. So let's say a color, I will just make it a white. So the, the thing is we need to play around with opac uh, opacity mask. So the idea here is, for example, my camera is uh, getting closer uh, from at some point. I need to mark uh, some pixels to have uh, zero opacity max, which uh, they are going to become uh, transparent. So in that sense, I need to know um, the distance between my camera and the pixel volume. So actually, there we have some inputs for it. We can get a camera uh, position, I think. Camera position, yes. And I need to get uh, the absolute world position for that pixel. Uh, we can just go for world position, and it's going to give you the absolute position. So just we need to uh, calculate the distance between it. So how we can do it actually we can uh, subtract these two values from each other and calculate the length so i need as uh, uh, some scalar value to uh, set a threshold for example if i'm closer than 200 centimeters let's say and i need to make uh, these pixels uh, transparent so let's say range i will call it 200 and if it is uh, after this one, then I will also subtract from this value. So here, in this case, what I get, I get, um, I can connect to it. And if you see, if I'm getting closer, then these values are getting be negative, like uh, because I'm subtracting it. So uh, the opacity mask is working like uh, if the value is uh, below th this uh, 0 0.333, uh, it is going to be set to zero. If it is uh, higher than the value, then it's going to be one. As you can see, these, uh, the other side are getting a one, but if I'm getting closer, then this is getting zero. Actually, that's uh, the basic idea how we can achieve. For example, if I go there, I will just set to um, my cam ignore material. Let's try to uh, play around. For example, this is the idea, but it's so boring and maybe we can do uh, some better things to, to make it uh, look good. So the first thing you can do here uh, in the material itself, you can open Dither Opacity Masks, which is working with entailizing, so it almost acts uh, as a translucent. So uh, after subtracting it, you can multiply with a small amount of uh, volume, let's say... Uh, 0 0.08 and you will have that kind of uh, anti-aliased masked values basically this is also uh, maybe something to consider here you can also go with this mm, also what we can do more um, actually I can I, I will use uh, some kind of a noise to make this blank area to 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 make it more interesting so because this is so boring and maybe if we apply some noise and it might bring some uh, excitement to it so if you have um, this beginner um beginner pack or i don't know what it is but 
it is there in the Unreal Engine already. So I will just search for Perlin noise. If you get another noise, maybe you can just for noise directly, and you will get a different noise textures. Uh, for example, this one I will just uh, go with Perlin noise. Let's get this one. So here uh, we subtract it and we get some values, which uh, some of them are below zero and some of them is higher than zero. So basically here the zero values uh, i need to play around with the zero, zero values so but i cannot multiply zero with something because i will get zero so what i'm gonna what i'm gonna do i will just inverse this one i will call one minus so it's gonna invert the operation so if i put it you will get the exactly inversed uh, result so the idea is i will play around with this value because i want to make this blank area to more interesting so i will just multiply this value with this and after that i can add this value to that one and i can connect it to it so in this case you will see that we have some uh, noise in the in the center so we can play around the noise uh, strength for example here uh, we can power it for example here it is too much i think i will just make it a bit low also you can put it another uh, scalar value let's say uh, noise uh, strength uh, let's call it 0 0.2 for example you will get this kind of uh, noise blank area which is gonna look like better than the initial one let's go and try this is also cool so if you want to uh, but uh, if you notice that there's a, some problem because it affects the shadowing because what we are doing we are setting the material mask value and in that sense actually it uh, lights uh, also not colliding with this object anymore but that's a really uh, easy thing to fix because we have uh, a shadow uh, pass switch which we can say the shadow is going to be always one oh, actually i will just uh, not we don't need to make a parameter but if you want to you can so here the shadow is going to be always one but i will just set to plus the max as well so here as you can see the shadow is going to stay there but my material is going to become transparent actually that's that's the that's the main idea and um, Maybe we can do more improvements if you wanna um, if you wanna listen. For example, here if I get closer, see for example here in this area in the center of the screen here, it is still uh, visible. So maybe I want to get rid of them. Also, we can play around with some of them uh, with some values, and we can achieve this. For example, here. I'm powering and I'm connecting to it. Um, if you know there's an exponential gradient uh, function which gives you, uh, some, let's say, maybe I can display it like this. Uh, if I try to preview, <coughs> see, you will see this one. So it is like a gradient sphere mask, let's say. So the outside uh, is going to be zero and inside is going to be masked. Uh, it's gonna go through a one so that's the idea so i can use this one to mask the center values basically so what we can do uh, i will just convert these ones to uh, some parameters let's say uh, radius let's say density uh, the radius should be 0 0.5 i think initially yes and density is 2.33 and UVs, it's going to be uh, as is from uh, UV texture. And here, as you can see, I need the inverse side because I want to get rid of the center here in my case. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to 1 minus to it. And then I can multiply this one with this one and I can connect to, to here. Uh, let's change it to the normal one as you can see it we have achieved actually what we need to do but uh, we have lost uh, the 
the noise pattern here probably the density is too much maybe and also radius we can play around the radius values to make it for example i am getting rid of the center the central noise if i'm getting closer then it's gonna be more clear in the in the center but for outside you can play around the values and also you can achieve some other different things great thanks guys that was it